Okay, next example natin is two-story naman to. This is our ground floor and this is our second floor. So, as you can see, we have here force 30 kN and then to, uh, 60 kN. All we have to do is to determine first the base shear. Yung base shear na ginagawa natin is same lang din dun sa unang calculations natin. Paano yon? So, ito, start muna tayo dito sa taas. So, dito sa taas, we have shear. Nagay lang natin. Tignan ko kung okay ba to Ayun. Shear, sure, nakikita ba? Ayun. Isa. And this is also single kasi exterior column. How about dito? Interior. So, twice ng shear. Twice ng shear. Next, paano ang calculations niyan? Ang calculations niyan, ganito lang. So, we have 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 1 plus 1. So, 6 shear. So, 6 V is equal to 30. Divide natin ng 6. Divide natin ng 6. So, ilan yan? So, we have V to be 5 kilo newton. Ano naman ang twice ng shear? So, we have 10 kilo newton. So, ilagay natin dito. V is 5 kilo newton. Twice ng shear is 10 kilo newton. Dito ay 10 kilo newton. And the other one is 5 kilo newton. Next, paano naman dito sa baba? Sa ground floor, meron tayong tinatawag na violet, okay? Twice ng shear, twice ng shear, and then single shear. So, paano ang calculations nito? Tulad din nito, pero we have to put summation. So, paano ang summation niya? So, 30 plus 60 is 90. So, we have 90. So, ilagay ko na dito. 90 is equal to 2456-6V. So, V is equivalent to, so, ilan ang shear natin? 30 kilo newton. Tama ba? 30. Double check natin. Sorry, 15 lang pala. So, this is 15 kilo newton. Ayan. So, ito ay 15 kilo newton. Ito naman ay ilan? 30 kasi twice. Doblehin nyo lang to ha. So, ito ay 30 kilonewton at ito naman ay 15 kilonewton. So, ba Tapos na tayo sa column shear. Step number 2 naman is column moment. So, dito, counter. Ilagay nyo na lang lahat. Counter natin yan. Okay. Next, taas muna tayo ha. Sa second floor muna tayo. Next, 5 times 1.5 is 7.5. So, ilagay natin dyan 7.5 kilonewton meter kasi moment. Kung ano yung value nito, same lang dito. Kilonewton meter. So, 7.5 kilonewton meter. Okay? Next, dito naman, hindi mo pwedeng kopyahin to. Bakit? Kasi may value ka dito. So, we have 10 multiplied by kalahati ng 3 is 15. So, ilagay natin dito 15 kilonewton meter. 15 kilonewton meter 15 kilonewton meter also ito 15 kilonewton meter and then ito 5 times 1.5 is 7.5 kilonewton meter and then 7.5 kilonewton meter okay next dito naman tayo sa ground floor sa ground floor naman same lang din ang process so anong kalahati ng 4 diba 2 so, 15 times 2 is 30. So, ilagay na natin yung rotation. This is counter. Okay. Ang paggawa nyo ng portal method, dapat naka-landscape kayo lagi para kasha yung drawings nyo. At saka hindi siya congested yung space. Ano po? So, we have 30 kilonewton meter. 30 kilonewton meter. And then, 30 times 2 is 60 kilonewton meter. So, 60 kilonewton meter. Ayan. So, hindi naman mahirap ang portal method. Yun nga lang matrabaho. Kasi lahat kailangan mong isulat. Ah, dito. 15 times 2 is 30. Ayan. 30 kilonewton meter. 30 kilonewton meter. So, natapos na tayo sa uh, gear door moment. Ah, sorry. Column moment. So, sa gear door na tayo or beam. So, yung rotation niyan is ganyan. Sulat na rin natin ito. Okay, para mamaya, diretsyo na. Okay, 
So, sabi ko kanina, kung ano ang rotation nito, or kung ano ang value nito, same lang din. Okay, kasi nga, approximate tayo. 7.5, so, ibig sabihin 7.5 yan, kilonewton meter. Kasi yung sa joints natin, di ba, alam nyo naman yung equilibrium conditions ng joints natin, ganun lang din yan. So, this is still 7.5 kilonewton meter. Next, hindi nyo pwedeng diretsohin to na agad-agad, 7.5. Yung minus nyo, ano po, 15 minus 7.5, 7.5. Huwag masyadong pakampante na yun agad yung value. Baka mamaya magkamali kasi kayo. Okay? So, 7.5 minus 15 is still 7.5 kilonewton meter, 7.5 kilonewton meter. Paano nyo malalaman kung tama o mali yan? Okay? Make sure na itong 7.5 is equivalent to the 7.5. Diba? Counter minus clockwise should be equal to 0 to make it equilibrium. Ganon din dyan. Okay? Next, dito na tayo. Ito na yung sinasabi ko kanina sa inyo dun sa may single um, story natin. So, ito, dalawang vertical. So, all you have to do is to add. So, 7.5 plus 30 is 37.5. So, ilagay nyo dyan, 37.5 kilonewton meter. And so, with this, this is 37.5 kilonewton meter kasi isang rotation lang yan, isang ikot. Okay? So, ito na. Paano naman ito? So, ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo kanina. Dalawang vertical and then isang horizontal. So, 60, i-add nyo lang sa 15, iba minus sa 37.5. So, ilan ang value? 60 plus 15 is 75 minus 37.5 is 37.5 kilonewton meter. 37.5 kilonewton meter. So, ito rin. 60 plus 15 minus 37.5 is 37.5 kilonewton meter. So, 37.5 kilonewton meter. Next step natin is yung girder shear na tayo or kaya yung beam shear. So, Gawa lang tayo niyan. Okay. Next is, et, okay, so ito na tayo. So, last is beam shear na tayo or girder shear. All we have to do is to add and then divide. Add, divide, and then 7.5, 7.5, and then divide. Ito naman. So, paano yan? 7.5 plus 7.5 divided by 4 is 3.75. So, double check naman. Okay. So, 3.75. So, ilagay natin 3.75. Okay. Next, kilonewton. Huwag kakalimutan yung unit. 7.5 plus 7.5 divided by 5 is 3 kilonewton. Next, 7.5 plus 7.5 divided by 6 is 2.5 kilonewton. How about dito sa baba? Sa baba, kung ano lang yung moment natin for your girder, yun ang gagamitin natin. 37.5 plus 37.5 divided by 4 is 18.75. I-add lang ha. So, ilagay natin, 18.75 kilonewton. Next, 37.5 plus 37.5 divided by 5 is 15 kilonewton. And last, 37.5 plus 37.5 divided by 6 is 12.5 kilonewton. Okay. So, ang gagawin nyo lang dyan, yung mga moment, pwede nyong bilugan na color blue, and then yung mga um, shear naman, pwede nyo nang gawing ibang color naman, red naman yung pagbilog nyo. Depende kung ano yung gagawin, tinyo siya as much as possible. Lagyan nyo ng legend para hindi siya masyado nakakalito. Okay? So, that's it for the portal method.